And welcome to another edition of Only Do Reviews and More. And a lot of you have requested this video in the last couple of months, and I'm finally deciding to do it. Now, a lot of people saying they've been hacked or they've forgotten their passwords. Well, this is the best way to get your account back if you've been hacked. Now, if you want to recover your password, that would be a different video. So, a lot of PSNs have been hacked in the last couple of years. Myself, I was hacked. Um, I did a video about that. And this is one way of recovering your account. Now, you need to log in. Um, if you've changed your password, this is what you need to do now. So, obviously, for security reasons, I'm going to pause the video so I can log in. So, just bear with me. Okay, then press the sign in button. And there you go. So there's all my devices. No. Then you click on devices. See what devices you've actually got. And this is what you do if you have the problem. You press the deactivate all. Now I'm not going to press it because you can only do it once every six months. Now what that does is it deactivates every single console it's been used on just to make sure the hacker can't get back on. So this is how you actually do it. It's not really that hard. Now once you've pressed that, you then log into your PS4, your PS3 or your PS Vita and there you go, your account is back in working order and you have your new password and you've deactivated all the other accounts so you should be back to normal and fine so there shouldn't be no problems at this stage now I hope this video has been very helpful to you and it's been a very quick help video but um, I'm I'm sure this will help people out in the long run. So, just a recap. You sign in after you've changed your password, of course. Then you go to account. And then you go to media and devices. And then you click deactivate all. And then when you go on your PS4, PS3 or your PS Vita, you just have to put your email and your password in. And then you have to activate as primary on your PS3 or your PS4. So, I hope this has helped you out. Please give us a big thumbs up. And if you want more videos like this, comment below. I'm so sorry this has been a short video and it's taken me a long time to create this video. Um, I hope this has helped you out um, as much as possible. If you have any uh, problems of doing this step by step, I will help you out in the comment section below. Um, this helped me out quite goodly because um, I got hacked myself. So, you know, it's the only way that you can deactivate your devices and you can only do it once per six months uh, as far as I know of. I don't think they've changed it recently. Now the only thing is <sighs> because of that if you get hacked with, within that six months after you've done that you have to wait six months. That's the only bad side of it. But the good news is if you wait the six months out if it's happened to you again you can do the same procedure. Anyway, I hope I've explained this the best way as possible. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. I'm Fire Dude. Ah, sorry, I'm only doing reviews and more. I forgot my name, but I'm in YouTube channel. <laughs> it's because I'm Fire Dude Cod on my PSN. <laughs> uh, that's another story. You can't change your PSN. Stupid, I know. Bye!